going to take you on a tour of the old butter roads today. We are a group of producers, eateries and visitor attractions and we showcase the best Cork has to offer. We are here in the old historic district of Shandon with the Butter Museum behind me. To my left is what was the Butter Exchange and the Firkin Crane is on the right which was a counting house for the Butter Exchange and Shandon Bells you will hear in a minute. Butter was considered to be yellow gold because the butter was brought from the far corners of County Cork and Kerry and sold here by individual farmers. They carried it in firkins, which was a particular size of wooden vessel. Firkin was graded and they got money based on how good the quality of the butter was. The firkins were carried by a man on his back. A horse could carry two or a horse and cart could carry eight. Roads were built to actually bring the butter into Cork City and the butter was then exported all over the world from 1770. Cork got rich on the butter and the butter museum from the countryside of Cork. Well, I was one of the founding members of the Old Butter Oats Food Trails and it was really important for us to promote the food that is produced in our region. So for example these scones, you can see we baked them freshly this morning and we use lovely fallon jam from Ballyvorney. We have also gorgeous free range eggs from Tommy in Whitechurch which we use for baking our cakes and uh, lovely quiche. And this dish, it's the grilled halloumi from Toonsbridge Dairy, and it's served on a bed of lettuce. And the lettuce is grown by Malaki in Mallow in Annabella Farm. The olives and the pesto is sourced also from Toonsbridge Dairy and their real olive stall. And here, this is a lovely pide Turkish bread, but it's baked locally in Arbutus. So you can see here, just at this table in a couple of dishes, we really walk the talk, we really serve the local food. So we started to make buffalo mozzarella in 2011 and then through quite a few different reasons we've ended up making quite a lot of different cheeses and now we work with buffalo milk, cow's milk and sheep's milk. Sheep's milk there's about five cheeses that come from that. From the cow's milk about six or seven types of cheese and the buffalo milk at the moment is only buffalo mozzarella. Like we're making up to three tons of cheese a week focused on the southern Italian tradition Mozzarella is the main thing, which is all about acidifying the curd to get to a point where you can stretch it. That's what makes mozzarella and how well you do that is how good the mozzarella is. Mm -hmm. So this is an old creamery building and it's quite ironic for a lot of the neighbours who can remember donkeys and carts and churns coming back and now the, all the milk coming back. 